Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Out in the Country. Good morning. Hello. All right. So today we're going to try something different. We're going to try something new, a little bit creative. So hopefully it'll work out like we want it to. It will turn out the way that we need it to, and it will be amazing. So good morning, everyone. Welcome to Out in the Country. Hey, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Welcome in. Hi. All right. Let's see if we can get everything pulled up like we need to. Get everything done the way we want to. Hello, hello, hello. And good morning. All right. Let's see. Yes. So, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Maybe we will get what we need done. There we go. It is a big old mess on my table, guys. I promise you it's going to make sense. Hello. Grandbaby is doing amazing. Good morning. Hello. Hi, Miss Cheyenne. I know I'm late. I'm sorry. Thank you for rolling us down the road. Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm on time. Awesome, Miss Janie. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hi, Miss Becky. Good morning. So, we're going to try something a little bit different, a little bit unique. We'll see how it goes. Good morning. I make no promises, okay? So, good morning. Okay, here we go, guys. We are going to take our pumpkin frame and we are going to turn it into a witch's pot also known as a cauldron, but I can never say that or pronounce that correctly. So, we're going to leave it as a witch's pot, okay? We're going to add our spatters. We're going to add eyeballs. We're going to add a bunch of little goodies. Super cute, super adorable. We're going to show you how to do that. So, if you want something different for Halloween, this is going to be the project for you. Hello. Good morning. Let's see if we can refresh that. Play that. Good morning. Thank you. Rolling. Happy Monday. See, I knew my comments weren't going. Good morning, Miss Linda. Thank you for that. Thank y'all for rolling us out. Not as messy as mine. Hey, it gets worse. Good morning. Hello, everyone. If I miss saying hello and good morning, good morning. All right. So, here we go. We're going to make this into a witch's pot. It's not as easy as it sounds, or it's going to be easier than it sounds. I'm not sure. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. All right. So, first things first. If you have not been over to OITC.shop, Alan has some amazing meshes in stock over there. Um, he's got a lot of good Halloween ones that I started to pull in. I didn't get that far this morning, but good morning. Hello, everyone. All right. So, pumpkin brain. This doesn't sound weird, but I promise you it's going to look good. Miss Faye, I am not sure, darling. I will go back and look or just resend it because there's no telling. This has been a crazy and whew, weekend. All right. So, what I have, guys, the, I'm going to run down my supplies. We'll figure out cuts and all that. I've got them up on the board, but I may alter those because this is a brand new project for me. And so, we're going to learn it together, and we're going to tweak it the way that we need it to. Good morning. Hello. So, ta-da. Start with the frame. Hello, hello, hello. So, I got happy mail. Awesome, Miss Patricia. All right. So, there is our frame. We'll set it to the side. Show you what I'm going to be working with here and there. Good morning. Hello. All right. Thank you, Miss Deborah. So, I have black mesh, guys. 18 cuts, or not 18. We're going to count them at 18, but we're going to do 14 cuts. Hopefully, that will be enough. If not, I have a secret welcome, well, weft pen that I'm going to put over the top of it. Good morning. So, we'll see if this is enough. If not, we'll work in this, okay? I have my black Chanel stems. I have some green Chanel stems, and then I have some red Chanel stems. Good morning. 
So we're going to do 18 inch cuts of this. The reason for 18, I want it to go from the top to the bottom and have just a little bit left over, okay? Good morning. I got a peekaboo. Awesome. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Mary. So, that's what we're going to do. Start with our black. We're going to lay a base down just to make it look like a witch's cauldron, okay? Hopefully, I said that right. Good morning, Miss Debbie. Hello. Then, I have the green for the bubbly boo up coming out of the top. I have some of the orange. Good morning. Awesome, Miss Joanna. I love watching you yesterday, darling. If you need anything from me, please feel free to reach out. Um, I did try to return your call the other day, but it didn't. Um, I got voicemail. So I have orange border stripe mesh, just because I like the way this is going to look for the fire. Good morning. And then I have some red because, you know, orange and red kind of make fire look even real. Then I have some of the Halloween tubing. Good morning. Good morning. Well, good morning, Miss Cindy. That is a new name, so welcome in, and I hope you enjoy us. Good morning. Hello, everyone. So, then I have the Halloween tubing from the Dollar Tree. Alan has some of this in stock, guys. It's going to be amazing. You showed off the message. Meshes? Are you meshing around again? Mm -hmm. I got my mystery box, and it's fabulous. Awesome. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Yes. Welcome in, Miss Cindy. She is new to the group. Good morning, and hello, Miss Cindy. So, we have our tubing that we're going to use. Good morning, Miss Beverly. And we have all those tubings in stock at OITC under the yes. Halloween. This is all Halloween tubing. Yes. We have the little spiders that, you know, you can't have a witch's pot without having the spiders on it. Good morning, Miss Ann and Miss Chandra. Mm -hmm. Hello. You didn't get me none of those for the store. I did not get you any of these for the store. I apologize. I was spattering around. Good morning. So, guys, over the weekend, we, good morning, everybody. We were able to get a few more rolls of different kinds of mesh. We have this metallic stripe mesh. Yours is different from mine. Yours has the orange, orange. in it. Yeah. yeah, I like yours better. Mm. Hello, Miss Nancy. Just woke up. And Hello, then we have this right here. This is a wide weave mesh yeah. that she's going to be using later this week. Yes, that's going to go on the witch's Available. Side. This right here is almost like that fall mesh that we have, but it's a little different. It's called a metallic ombre mesh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello. That's a lot like that fall mesh that we had. Mm -hmm. And then we were able to get some of this thin stripe fabric mesh that we used on the yeah. meet and greet kits. There's only a few of these available, though. Yes. Well, hello, Joshua. I didn't see Joshua. Joshua, get back to work. Yep, I miss Joshua. Mm -hmm. So... Good morning. Oh, she said good morning, Joanna, not Joshua. Sorry. I was like, I didn't see Joshua pop on. Love the wide weave. Yes. All right. So, that's what we're going to work with. I have the Dollar Tree ornaments. You're vibrating over here. That are the black glittery with the webs. The orange with the uh, things. <coughs> And then I have purple glittery. Drink. And then I have some of the eyeballs. See the little eyeballs? <laughs> Miss Nancy, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, there's a little eyeballs. I have more of them that he can reach for me in a little bit. But, yeah. And we have some of those at the store, in the store, too. We do. We have some of the ornaments. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin. I did, Miss Deborah, and Alan has some over at OITC.shop, but yes, the pumpkin frame is from the Dollar Tree. Yes, ma'am. I right. was digging through my shop this morning, and uh, probably sometime this week, I'm going to re-release some of the wooden pumpkin frames awesome. and stuff like that, but I got to get them cut out and routed and everything okay. else. I've Good been out morning. there. Getting a lot of stuff done this morning. All right. I know. You're funny for the day. I know. I love you, Miss Nancy. I agree. That was my latest set. There's no talent. I did get a lot of orders out this morning. All right. Ready to be boxed up. Yeah. He's got to do his job. I got a bunch of burner boards done this morning. Yes. A lot of burner boards done. 
And I cut up all my stuff for my yes. caddies and my sign caddies and my cabinets and yes. a lot yes. of stuff. Lots of lots. Right. So I'm going to put that up there for now. I got a hair on me. Are your feet propped up today? They are. The Halloween box is completely over. Yes, ma'am. We've already done the Halloween box. The next one is for the six complete kits. Love, love, love the ministry. Love my burner board. Also, Miss Barnes, a burner board. Yeah. Oh, yes, Miss Pam. Yes, Miss Pam. Yours will be going out here soon. Yes. All right. So, we have our Chanel stems. I'm still so excited. Awesome. All right. So, we are going to simply put... Only back to school. Oh, Miss PJ, you are missing out because I've got some goodies. So I'm going to start with my Chanel stem, guys, and I'm just going to twist them on the bottom of each one of these sections, okay? I'm getting that burner board eventually. Yes, I understand, Miss Lucy. Hello. So we are just twisting these on. Is Alan a builder of many, many things? Yes. I know Miss Spam, but yes, Alan is a builder of many, many things. He does our cabinets, our caddies. Uh, when does the drawing end? When they sell out. Good morning, Miss Mindy. She said, and rotten. Good morning, Brad. I'm beautiful. You're rotten. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So, yes, my feet are propped up. They are doing somewhat better. If I could get the Charlie horses out of my legs. Drink of water. Yes. Regular water. No. Yes. No. So, what I'm doing, guys, since when I twist that around, it's just a little bit flimsy for me. I'm just wrapping it around my frame just to make it a little bit sturdier. Wait, I didn't get to see you yesterday before. Yes, Miss Maria, I'm sorry. It's crazy. Yes. But you got to see me. That's the important part. Yes. Good morning. All right, so twist. What was I doing? Oh, I had to go get supplies and everything yesterday. Yeah. I was like, what was I doing? Yeah. Look, we're not trying to take any more pills, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm over my steroid pack. I am done with all of that. We are good. Pickle juice works really. Yes. Well, and the bad part about it is it's like I had a cramp in my legs, and then it's just the soreness mm -hmm. from where I had the cramp. Yes. A banana a day, mm. that ain't gonna happen either. <laughs> I did meal prep this week. I did. You put grapes in a freaking bowl, and you, you did peel and cut up some cucumbers and put them in a bowl. See? That's not food prep. <laughs> That is my food prep. No, that's just actually storing your fruit. This yes, Miss Tony, I did, and we're going to take care of that today. Yes. Good morning. Yes. I did meal prep, guys. I went ahead and cut up my cucumbers, I cleaned my grapes, and I put them all in little Tupperware containers. <laughs> that is my meal prep. Yeah, all right. snack prep, not meal prep. I, I'm going to go with meal because I need it as a meal. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to do the same thing for the top, guys, okay? You are vibrating like crazy today. You're the grace. Thank you, darling. I do appreciate it. It's, it's not snack prep. Not when you eat it as meals. That is my kind of meal prep. See? I have found that if I go ahead and cut up everything, <coughs> I'm more likely to eat them. And then I don't grab just like a bag of candy or something like that. Mm -hmm. Tablespoon of peanut butter. It will help for the leg cramps. Didn't peanut butter fattening. Look, we're trying not to be fat. I thought we said no, Miss Vicky's phone holder. Yeah. No, Miss Vicky, you should already have your phone holder. You should already have your phone holder. I will double check, but you should already have your phone holder. Good morning, Miss Kathy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So we're not trying to take any more medicine that we have than we have to. 
because I'm not good at it. Good morning. All right. So I'm literally just wrapping my Chanel stems around the brackets. <coughs> good morning. You mean because I never received my meat and drink? Yes, Miss Lisa. I have the stuff now to take that. Yep. Oh, UPS keeps delaying it. Hey, I, oh. I know we sent it out. Yeah. But, yeah, UPS is great for that. All right, Miss Judy. Hello. All right, so we're just wrapping our thing around just to keep it a little bit sturdy. Uh, the low fat? Get the low fat. Okay. Now, that would probably help me if it was like that. I'm really proud of the little bit of weight gain or weight loss that I've done. Christina's trying to gain weight, and I'm trying to lose it. If I could just give her mine and, you know. Hello. I ordered a set of Easy Tails. Awesome. We have lots of those going out. Oh, I got to talk to the uh, basketball coach that's going to be taking over at Billingsley and her husband, which is the athletic director. So, we're just going to get in full gear with that. Got all the signs around. Yeah, they just didn't like you having that phone holder, Miss Vicki. What kind of doctor <laughs> is Dr. Pepper? Are you scared to answer? Probably. Hello, Miss Pat. Mm. Miss Mindy says she knows. I eat pickles every day for the week. Awesome. All right, so there is our Chanel stems added, guys. Yes, that one's going to give me a fit. But there's our Chanel stems. Taste, yep. The best when you need caffeine, Miss Warren said. Yeah. <laughs> he is the best doctor if you need caffeine. You are correct. Hello. All right, so there's our frame, guys. Now we're going to take our burner board, and we're going to cut 18-inch pieces of mesh. Why 18 inches? <laughs> good one. See, go. now that's a bad, bad, bad joke. Okay, so why 18 inches? I received my mystery on Saturday. You have outdone yourself. I may have to get... Yes, ma'am. Okay, there was Let another lady hit the head, asked if you had time to work on her custom. Tell um, me... I'm trying to remember. Uh, Miss Sherry Knott. Any luck with my custom sign for me? Sorry, hope it hasn't been too difficult. I just have to remember what it is. I've got like 15 customs out there that I'm working on. I did do the witch one this morning that um, was requested. I had a witch sign that was requested. Okay, so why 18 inches on our pets of mesh? Good morning. We are going to layer our mesh on like this. Now I'm going to make it to where it comes all the way over here to the side and covers that up. She's using the Dollar Tree pumpkin frame. Yep, this is the Dollar Tree pumpkin frame. So see how that one's there? We are going to layer this on to where we make our complete frame solid black. Okay? Well, thank you for those 200 stars, Mr. Allen. You're welcome. Pumpkin frame, yes. All right, so Chanel stems out of the way. We're going to start cutting at 18 inches. We're going to do 14 cuts, okay? I know we only have our... Six Chanel stems, but I'm going to overlap some, okay? So, we're going to cut it 18 inches. Homeschool. Yes, and the sunflower one. Okay, I got you, Miss Sherry. We will work on getting those completed today. I've got a couple of those ideas going, and I'll work on the rest of it today. So, 18 inch. Cuts. Thank you for rolling this out. Just like so. And we are just going to cover our frame with our black. Good morning. 
Uh, there is some of, we did add a couple of those frames in the, at OITC this morning. Uh, she wasn't able to pick up very many of them, but there is some. So, Miss Deborah, by the time that I reminded you how the mystery box uh, worked, we're changing it up. So, it wouldn't have been a good to tell you how the last one worked. We are working really, really hard at changing that up. We didn't offer it this month because of the changes. Mm -hmm. And we're still working on all the details. Star Thank you, Miss Deborah, for 200 stars. Yep, the Star Party has been activated. Awesome. Star Party has been activated. So, we're just cutting up our mesh, guys. Thank you, darling. Mm -hmm. I did the cutest little witch sign this morning, and I didn't even get it posted. I even did a sign for this that I did not get posted. Thank you, Miss Benita, for those 100 stars. So, we're going to cut this up. Good morning. Just like so. Thank you, Jen, for those 200 stars. Thank you. Yesterday, it looks gorgeous. Let me know when you get my half and a half so I can pay for it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Not a problem. You threw me for a loop on that when you wanted a circle. So, all I have to do is refigure it because I had it in a license plate perfect for you. Then you said circle and I was like, oh, that's right. So, we'll go back and do it into a circle and it'll be perfect. Good morning, Miss Margaret. Granddaughter Grace. Well, good morning, Grace. When you two slow down a little, I would like to do... Heart trouble time size? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, Miss Judy. How come the star party does not show when it's active? It does on my end. Yeah. Some people it does, some people it doesn't. But it, so it doesn't show anything on my end. Yeah, see, right yeah. now it still shows that it's active and we need 800 more stars. We need 800 more stars. Thank you, Miss mm -hmm. LaDonna, for those 50. And she said another 50. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for another 50. Look at there. Good morning. All right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's see what we can get out of this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. No package yet for elites. I'm getting nervous. Uh oh, Miss Pam. That's not cool. They should already be there. Okay. I'll check it. Thank you, Miss Judy, for those hundred stars. Yep. Good morning, Miss mm -hmm. Deborah. Excited to see this. I just found some of the pumpkin frames. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I was in Dollar Tree yesterday and I met a lady that was wondering what I was going to do with all of them. And so I showed her a bunch of different designs. Hello, Miss Anitra. Um, I have not, Miss LaDonna. One more. You're fine. Thank you, Miss Cindy, for those 50 stars. All right, last one. Yeah, Miss Payne, we'll check on that package and see, because that, that went through the post office, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, hers went through the post office. Thank you, Mindy, for those 200 stars. Good Mr. morning, Star Francis. Party completed. Hello, star party completed? Yep. That's all the dance I got. Thank you, Miss Jen, for 180 stars. I have all the notes that I can see ready for you. Sent one early. Thank you, Miss Angie. You are amazing. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much those help me because I go back and I search those all the time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, we got our 18 cuts of our mesh cut up. We're simply going to add them to our frame. Yes, Miss Kim, thank you for the stars. Yes, thank uh, you, was... thank you, thank you. Uh oh, what I miss? Oh, talking about. Yeah. Star party complete. Yep, yes. she sent 200 stars. Yes. yes. Thank you, Miss Kim. My ribbons because Alan put visible ribbon in mine. Hey. Yeah. And there's that. Good morning, Miss Rhonda Parts. You are very See, late. Like all weekend long late. See, 
you know, you do something nice for people and they just complain about it. I mean, you know, I thought she was really going to, you know, be excited about the invisible ribbon that I put in there. But, I mean, <laughs> yes. Just can't make some people happy. Sprinkled the love. Thank you. The stars is just a way of telling Facebook, hey, watch us, um, that we are doing something that you're interested in and that you like. And, and it's just some, they're a little part of their algorithm thing that they do. So, yes. All right, so we're going to move this first one over to where it is right there, and I'm going to put my second one in that same one. One of a kind invisible ribbon. Yep. I can't say it's going to be one of a kind because, I mean, I'm sure I might stick it in somebody else's box eventually. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's going to try that again. Yeah. Um, Mystery is not going to open up <laughs> this month. We have... We're trying to revamp and redo some things and make mm -hmm. it a little bit more beneficiary, if that makes sense. How long did you cut the black? 18 inches. Good morning. I need a Halloween size. And a drawing. I need Halloween signs. And in on drawing. You might have to clarify that one a little bit, Marlene. Yeah. Hello. So, we are just layering this on, guys. And it will make more sense once we get all of it on. Good morning, Miss Judy. So, it's going to try to be complicated for me right now. But, we are going to layer this on. Could this frame be done in a Santa face since it's puffy and jolly? Yes. Probably go. It definitely could. Good morning, Miss Debbie. All right, so there's our Ms. first two. Miss Bonnie said, hello, Tina Gower Stromberg. Hello, Miss Bonnie. Yes. All right, so there's our two. And, guys, we're just simply going to keep layering this over, okay? Where do I get the drawing tickets? Awesome. Oops. So, Miss Marlene, that's at OITC.shop. She says, oops, I see. We did, have, we did have a wonderful weekend. We actually went to a water park on Saturday, and we got to take baby Carter around a lazy river. Mm -hmm. Sometimes he liked his feet in the water. The rest of the time, he was not happy about his feet being in the water. Yes. And, uh, yeah. He didn't like his life jacket being on. He got used to it, but when you first put it on, he was mad. So, but he did really, really well. For the first time at the water park, he slept most of the day, which made Grandma happy. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. So we are literally just laying our mesh on here, guys. And I'm going to come back and maneuver it where I want it. Because it looks like I'm going to have to do that anyway. Thank you, Miss Angie, for putting those links up. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, see how it looks so far? A little bit see-through, but that's okay. Like I said, we're going to keep layering, and we're going to do it good. Good morning, Miss Lorraine. So, we're going to put two per Chanel stem, okay? And that's literally all we are doing is layering our mesh on. Scrunching it up and layering on. Can you show me how to make one if I order, please? You are making me very interested. Miss Jessica, what are you wanting to make? I missed the other comment, but yes. Scotland in the house. Good morning, Miss Beth. Yes, I can show you anything. Oh, yes. Lots of noise around him, and he slept like a champ. Trust the process. This is definitely going to be a trust the process. Because I can see me going back and folding this mesh up. And making it really nice and full and covered. But we're going to trust the process. Can I place an order for signs? Ribbon mesh drawing up to 50. Yes. Miss Marlene, yes, I do believe so. If I'm reading that. So six on top and six on bottom. And we're doing two things of mesh.
personnel. Miss LaDonna and let's say a Christmas wreath. Oh, yes, definitely. Yes, yes, yes. We're definitely going to do a Christmas wreath with these. Um, so let's see. Dollar Tree pumpkin. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So again, guys, we're going to trust the process. Yep. Thank you. But I did want to show y'all my cute little sign that I made for this. It says Witch's Brew. Thank you. So isn't that just adorable? I think once we get it done, we can set it like attach it maybe right in there. Yes, Miss LaDonna, uh, right above you, Miss uh, Angie posted the link for you. All right, so again, guys, we're going to trust the process and we're going to keep going, okay? We're going to put two pieces of mesh per design. Yes. Have Alan show it closer if he ever comes back in here. You know he disappears on me a lot. Good morning. You know he likes to disappear. But when he comes back in here, I will get him to show the sign up closer. So we're going to pull really, really tight. Insert that in. And again, we are doing two per Chanel stem. That's the size of the signs I need. Yes, ma'am, Miss Sandra. We can definitely do them. So again, guys, I will make this work for me as nice and full when I get it done. But we're going to trust the process and we're going to keep going. Okay. So this finished product is available if you go ahead and trust the process. <laughs> you know it's going to be adorable. We're just going to trust the process and go with it. So good morning. I didn't figure Alan was going to be in here too much because of all of the stuff that he's got going outside. So he surprised me when he even came in this morning. So there's that one. And just like so, we're going to scrunch up the ends and we're just going to attach. For the Pacific football team, Ribbon, the best place to check is Etsy. Yes. Yes, you can get away with it. And then the uh, reef shop or the sports shop.com has a lot of the specific football ribbons. Yes. So the sports shop I hear has a lot of the good ribbons. Yes. But Etsy also works well with that as well. So it looks like it's getting pretty full. By the time that we go back in and we fold and fluff, it'll be okay. It's going to look okay. I have faith. Good morning. Yes. It's definitely going to be a unique and different project. I'm with you, Miss Pat. I can't wait to see the finished product, too. <laughs> That's the best part about doing lives with y'all guys. I don't do them ahead of time to see how they're going to turn out. We do it together, and we learn together. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the two signs do it all through yes you can do it all through the same uh, transaction and then you ask for the skull the top hat skull and i have that okay figure out how to cut the mesh longer than 20 inches so miss pam it's really really simple if you want to cut your board longer than the um 20 inches so what you would do is you start down here and you go to your 20. okay so halfway in that bar you have your 20 inches. So if you need a 30 inch piece, instead of cutting at that 20, you're going to come back to your 10. You're going to pick your mesh up at your 10 and you're going to roll it back out to your 20. Then when you cut, it's going to give you a 30 
inch piece. Okay, so you're just going to, instead of cutting right there on the line, you're just going to come back. So say you want a 35 inch piece. Come back 15 inches and scroll back out. Now you have your 35. Yes, definitely got my interest in this one. That is fun. When the first time making design. Yes. Yes, ma'am, Miss Sandra. Hello, Jared. Hi. Hello. Welcome in. So there's that. Okay. So we're going to keep going with this. And guys, there was one uh, tutorial on this that showed where you could go side to side with this. And you could do like a basket weave. We ain't trying to be that fancy. We just want it to be cute and full. Okay? So, but like I said, there is a tutorial that you can do the basket weave. Miss Becky said, would you show our sign up close? Yep. I seen Miss Tammy. I'm so sad. How do you find the board? OITC.shop under burner. And we also have the burner board that has the bow maker on the back. So if you want nice and compact, you can flip this one over, put your pegs in it that come with it, and it makes a uh, bow maker on the back. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the drawing tickets are still available at OITC and lots of meshes and tubings and fuzzy sticks and everything else. And well, happy eight year wedding anniversary, Mr. Jerry. I'm fixing to get out to my shop and get all that stuff on the boards cut out that I got before it gets five million degrees up there. So I'll be back in here in a few minutes to check on you. Okay, thank you. Can you do a pumpkin wreath on a round wreath using this method? Yes, you definitely could. There is another one that I can't wait to show y'all that I have watched um, several times. I'm trying, so I watch tutorials, guys. Not all of these ideas that we do um, are out of my head. I watch tutorials that other people do, and then I try to figure out how to simplify it because a lot of people that do tutorials for y'all don't simplify the process. And so that is my biggest thing is I want it simplified to where y'all can figure out what exactly it is that's supposed to be done. And so I will watch a lot of different tutorials doing things and then I have to simplify it in my head and figure out how to make it easier for y'all to learn. And that is what this one was. Like I said, I watched one that did the um, basket weave design on it. And that's just too much headache for anybody to try to figure out. Okay, so notice how like on your ends you have a little bit more down here. Miss Deborah, there's uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I just did top and bottom. Okay. So, now, there is our mesh two per Chanel stem. So, there's our 12, I think. Looks like maybe one of them is missing the two, but that's okay. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back. And I am going to maneuver my mesh to where it's nice and thick. Such an easy tail caddy. Meant to buy the sign caddy. Yes. Okay, Miss Beth. Yes. All right. So we're just going to make sure that that goes down there on the end. And we're just going to make sure that instead of all of our mesh being back here, it's up front. And that way you can get a nice full effect of the mesh. Yes. Well, that is the whole purpose, Miss Gail, is to make sure that you can learn the easiest way. There is a fly in here that is driving me crazy. So. Love being in the South. You never know what kind of creatures are coming in. Is it 12 or 14 cuts? So right now I'm using 12. I'm going to go back with my other and I'm going to layer it on. 
So it should be 12 cuts. It looks like I did an extra cut, but yeah. Good morning, Miss Susan. My husband and I celebrated our 41, the 8th, and I even renewed his contract for another year. Well, look at you, Miss Connie. Yes. So we are just going to make sure that it's nice and full and all flooped up. Board says 14. Yes. So right now I have 12, but I do have my other cuts that I'm going to layer in this to make it nice and full. Well, thank you. So I'm just going to come in and layer. Make sure that it doesn't come out of our twist. Yes. I bet he was proud that you renewed his contract for another year. Okay, so come down here on this end. You haven't used the tubing in a reef yet? Oh, you do not know what you're missing. It makes a ump. In that, hello, Miss Judy. It just puts a little bit more character into your reefs when you use the tubing. The best on Facebook. You're so sweet. All right, so let's layer that. And again, I just want to maneuver these. Sometimes it just wants to become complicated. But that's okay. We're going to make it less complicated. We'll watch the replay. Yes, ma'am. I was married this month. This is still August. So, all right. So, where I see that I have a little bit of, this is the top. Yes, I am putting that on top of the frame. Yes, ma'am. I want all of my mesh to stay on top. Oh, thank you. So, now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to scrunch it up just like this. I did. Yes, ma'am. Um, I've done it a couple of times, but I can do it again. All right, so I'm going to take my extra cuts, guys, and I am just going to twist it in Just like so. Just so it covers up some of the clear spot or the see-through spots. Okay? So nothing hard about it. We're just going to bring in our extra cuts. Hobby Lobby has free shipping this week. Oh, I did not know that. I didn't even know Hobby Lobby did free shipping. Okay, so there is one of our extra layers on. And again, over here, this is where it decided that it did not want to fold up on me. Hard to find the good ones. Oh, all right. So bring that over there. I'm going to put one more right here on this side. Okay. So, put it here. Yes. I'm new here. Well, good morning. I just ordered the burner board. Well, thank you for being in and thank you for watching us. I hope that you're going to enjoy your burner board. Hello, Mr. Nikwa. Yes. So, we are just adding in, guys, okay? Hey, Miss Ruby Hunter. Okay, so there's our black. Now, I told you that I had my little specialty mesh, right? If we wanted to, love the burning board, awesome. We could scrunch this up right here and do our striped pot. What do y'all think? 
What do you think about doing a striped pot? They like that idea? We could have done it this way. Just so it's nice and full. We could do it that way. Let's see. I bet we wouldn't need but one, what, four? Um, I just placed them to where they were thin. So let's do 18 cuts of this, just as a little extra. So let's do our 18 inch cuts. Y'all know I don't like the see-through. Up and down, yeah. I think the up and down part would make it pop like that. down here to where we can spread it wide open. Yes. What do you think? I really like that. I think that is really, really cute and it's going to just fold in with our black. Good morning. So, let's do that. So, I'd say about four cuts. Yes, ma'am, I can. Um, so, we are making a witch's pot or cauldron out of our pumpkin frame from the Dollar Tree. So, we are taking our 18-inch cuts, and we went... 14 cuts of our 18 inch black and we just went north and south with it and then we're just going to layer it with this um, high foil stripe mesh and we're just going to do three four cuts of it just like so and we are just making a witch's pot so let's see if I need, there we go, and one more, 18 inches, let's see if we're going to have enough for it to go top and bottom, yeah, I think it's going to make it show up a lot better, yes ma'am, so, let's take, scrunch up top, The very top, right there, and go to the bottom, stretch it out to the bottom, insert it in, we'll open it up so that our layers show, just like so. Do it again. I think that looks really, really cute. Just gonna put it in. Twist it on our Chanel stem. Just like so. And again. Tuck those to where it pops out. You can fold it under. Make it nice and full. And then one more. On the very end. So literally all it took was four of these across. Good morning. At 18 inches. Hi, honey. You doing good? I'm doing great. 
-hmm. We decided to put the black over the, or the high pole, mm -hmm. over it to give it a little bit more of dimension. Mm -hmm. So see? I was throwing it at you. Good. Yep, so just four of them. I got a spell book box last year that would look cute. Yes, ma'am. All right, so see all of this extra up here, guys? You don't need it. You don't need all that extra down there on the bottom. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and clean up. And the only thing that I'm really going to clean up is this black here. I'm just going to trim it down to where it's about the same as the other. And then get rid of all my little stragglings. Okay, so same up here. Just gonna trim that to where it's about the same as my other. You'll understand in just a minute why. Okay, set that over there. Move all of this over here. Okay, just like so. Now, we're gonna take our green and we're going to do 12 cuts of our 10 inch. So we're gonna cut it at 10 inches and we're gonna do 10 inch curls, okay? So pull our burner board back out and we're gonna cut it 10 inches. We're gonna do 12 cuts at 10 inches. So, gorgeous, thank you. Help see if you have your blade out. So, we're just going to do 12 cuts. So, we have six Chanel stems up top. And each Chanel stem is going to get two curls. So, we're going to take, love the full mesh, thank you. Roll that up. Roll this up. Squish them together, and up here at the top, we're going to crumple that on, just like so. Well, thank you. Yes, so we're going to have all of our little curls up here at the top. It's going to look like little brew coming out of the top. Yes. I tried really, really hard to come up with something different, unique, something that we haven't done in a while because I understand doing the same old, same old really gets old. And y'all don't want to see me do the same thing day in, day out. So we're going to do 10 inch curls and we're going to do 12 of those. Overflowing. Yep. Can you do a pedal method that would look like the bubbles? Yes. Um, so the remember our um, seashell method that we do? The pedal method. Look like bubbles. Yes. Um the seashell method that we do, I have an idea for it on the bottom. So, I may need a little bit more green. Let's see if I have more green. So, all we're going to do is roll these up. Roll these up. Put them together and scrunch them on. And we're going to put these up here at the top. Okay? So you just got to find two of your Chanel stems that are long enough. And twist that in like taquitos. Yep. Yep. Do little taquitos just like Miss Mindy always says. Yes, you do find the football frames at the Dollar Tree. Yes, ma'am. Be cute for a leaf on the top of the frame. Yep. 
so this and this insert it in up here just like so I need some more cuts so let me get out there is another one of my meshes let's see if I have just the green mesh because Lord knows I have it everywhere good morning everyone guys if I could show y'all how much mesh that was in this room that has been started to cut up and not finished y'all would be amazed We even have a lighter green that we can add in there for our curls. We have border stripe. There is all kinds of mesh that we can add in just to make our bubbles. Let's see. Now, why is it when you need one certain color of green, you can't seem to locate that one green? Started my first candles, this candies this weekend. Awesome. Bigger than 12 inches, so I had to adjust my cuts. Oh, Miss Kim. She done a Christmas candy. Yes. So I even have this green, guys, that we can put in here. This is a border mesh. Yes, Miss Susie, you definitely can. They are on OITC.shop. It's probably not in his shop. Yeah. Yes. So I even have this at 10 inches. So guys, our bubbles up top is going to look just like the witch's brew because it's going to be all different ones. Yes, we did the football. Um, we did it with the um, the gnome. I did buy um, different mop heads at the Dollar Tree to be able to redo that for you. You're welcome. Um, so yes, I have lots of those. Will you be doing the football? Yes, I will be doing the football frames again. Yes, we will have different ones of those. Yep, I'm going to blend the three different greens. So I have a border stripe mesh. I have a lighter green, and then I have a lime green. So I am literally going to... Hey, Miss Ruth, thank you. Mesh use in your shop. Yes, there is a lot of... The meshes that I use are over at OITC.shop. Yes. As a witch, you definitely could. You definitely could. So, guys, I have a question. I have two different reefs that I know that I want to make this week. Besides the witch pot. So, technically, I had three. But, what do y'all think? Or, which one would y'all like to see tomorrow? I have a... Spider. I have a, um, so we have the spider. We have, um, the witch hat. And then I have this one. So I did the spider, the witch hat, and then there was something else I was going to do this week. But, so the spider or the witch hat, which one would y'all like to see tomorrow? Don't see on both shops, yes. The spider, okay. Witch hat. Spider, yeah. Like I said, I have different things that I have worked really, really hard. I went yesterday, guys, to town three different times. Town is 35 plus minutes away from us. And I went three times yesterday because every time I got home, I had a different idea that I wanted to do. Yes. Yes. 
So I know we're going to do them all this week. And we're going to have our peekaboos out this week. So I'm basically, I've changed up my cuts, guys. I'm doing three to each one. So I'm just adding three different um, cuts. Spider, then which hat? Yeah. So I have the spider that I'm really, really, really. One tomorrow, one Wednesday. Yes. Well, we'll be live all week long, so we'll have plenty of time. To do all of them, I just didn't know which one y'all'd like to see first. But yes. So, what are we making? Right now, we're doing the witch's pot. This is the witch's pot. And then we have um, the spider that we're going to do. And then we have the witches. The witch hat frames yet. They only had two football frames or smaller. Yep. All school stuff. Yes. I understand. Hard to choose. Yes. This is the witch's cauldron here. So we're just rolling up our mesh into little curls. And we're adding these to our Chanel stems just to make the little bubbles. Looks like witch hat wins. Okay. We can do that. Okay. So. Here is our curls. Okay, I'll find them for you. Miss Antoinette, or Miss Susan, not a problem. Good morning, Miss Antoinette. Uh, we're going to use a 8 inch, or not an 8 inch, we're going to use a um, Dollar Tree 14 inch spider. Welcome in. So, we're going to do, I need a lighter green. Welcome. Yep, the spider's going to be on a Dollar Tree frame. And y'all, I was silly cheap. So, how many of y'all, and y'all are going to laugh at me when I tell you this, and I'm okay with that because it's part of being creative and cheap <laughs> at the same time. And so, trust me, it happens. Y'all will understand. Um, no, ma'am, this is not going to be a kit. So, how many of y'all have been to a craft store or Walmart and tried to buy polyfill? Basically, cotton to stuff things with. Do y'all know how expensive that is? The cheapest one at my Walmart yesterday was five dollars and something for a little bitty tiny bag like wasn't even worth it and then nope it's gonna be on a dollar tree this is spider a special frame nope it's going to be on a dollar tree it's going to be on a dollar tree frame all right so i'm just going to go back in and put my little extra things in you're right miss ladonna that is exactly what I did. So, I went, <laughs> I went to Walmart and I found that polyfill and I was like, God, that's expensive. Why is polyfill, when did it get so expensive? Right? So, as I'm walking up the aisle, they had these little cheap $3 pillows that are like just little pillows for your bed. I was like, huh, oh, cotton. Yep, round frame, yes, ma'am. And so, we're going to take a pillow. This is, Miss Antoinette, this is the pumpkin frame from the Dollar Tree. So, yeah, so I literally grabbed one of those $3 pillows. And we're going to open it up and we're going to stuff our legs with that. Can you show us your Dollar Tree spider? Yeah, I'm going to do it um, one day this week. I think we're going to do the witch hat tomorrow. Yep. And so we'll do the witch hat tomorrow and then we'll do the 
other. All right. So, before I go to my bottom, guys, and we put our fire down at the end, I'm going to show you how to finish off our boiling ribbon up here. Okay? So, I am going to take green Chanel stems. Okay? I am going to take... Yes, ma'am. I'm going to take green Halloween tubing. This is the green Halloween tubing from the Dollar Tree. We have some of this over at OITC.shop if you cannot have it. So how much of that stuff are you using? Which one? Miss Antoinette? Yeah. So let me explain what we did, okay? We have 14 8 inch cuts of our black mesh. So we can use just regular value mesh with the full black mesh. Okay? We did 14 cuts at 18 inches. We put our six Chanel stems down here on the bottom and six Chanel stems up here at the top. And we went north and south with our 14. Each Chanel stem got two, and then I went back to where it looked like it needed something else with my other two cuts. So all I did was scrunch up, scrunch up the ends, lay it north and south. Then we took four cuts of our high foil mesh, and we scrunched it top and bottom just to cover all of that black. So instead of using a lot of this high foil mesh, because it is so expensive, we did our basic black to get the poofiness that we needed, the coverage that we needed. And then we took our high foil and we did four cuts at 18 inches going north to south. Okay? Then all I did was take three different colors of green I did 10 inch cuts of our curls, and I ended up with three, six, about 15 cuts of our curls. So there's about 15 curls up here at 10 inches. All I did was curl them straight up into a little curl. Yes, north and south. I did it. <laughs> so all we did was curl up roll it straight up, scrunch them together, and add to a Chanel stem. That's what give us our curly part for the top. Good morning, Miss Pam. Hello. Yes. Yes, ma'am, Miss Cindy, I did. So, there is that. Yeah, lots of board updates needed. Yes, you are correct. We'll do that, but Let's finish because I know I'm going to make changes down at the bottom too. So there is our part there. Now I'm going to take our deco tubing and I'm just going to cut it a little bit longer than my elbow. So maybe halfway up my arm. This is the pumpkin frame from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm just going to cut some long strands of this, okay? I am going to take my two Chanel stems, twist them together, back on itself, and together. Now, you can pay more money for the 20-inch Chanel stems if you want to. There's no sense in it. I am literally going to feed this through my Chanel stem. Thank you. I do appreciate that. We are just feeding our Chanel stem through our tubing. Okay? Okay? So all we're doing is feeding our tubing, our Chanel stem, right through our tubing. Okay, I'm going to pinch that off just so it holds that. 
and I'm going to scrunch it all the way through. So now I have a big long thing of tubing. Guys, y'all can go and buy the high dollar fancy curly stuff if you want to, or you can trust me and do it this way. I'm just going to twist that in to my Chanel stem, okay? So right up there at the top of my curls, right where I had my curls attached, I attached that really long Chanel stem. Can y'all see that? Now, take your finger, curl this up as tight as you want it, dangle it down, And you can make this as tight as curls as you want it because you are literally, you have your Chanel stem that you can curl this up as tight as you want it to be curled. See that? Stretch it out. Make it as scrunchy as you want it, tuck it into your curls, and there you go. Okay, you can do that for your purple, you can do it for your orange, your black, all of that can be done. So now you have made an inexpensive attachment, and then watch. Take your little spiders, Yes. At the very end of your Chanel stem of your tubing. Take that. Hot glue gun. Put a little bit in there. Let's see if I can get that to stay back up. Now, what I like to do there, guys, is if you have like a little piece of ribbon, even like your little tubing, add it to it. Let me see if I can get a, well, we'll just use this. Just so that that stays. And there you go. Well, it didn't stay for me, and I stuck my hand to it again. But, love that curling. Yep. Now you have a spider. Look at that. Now you have a spider there. Okay, do that for the rest of your design. Take two of your Chanel stems, twist them together, back on itself just to make it longer. Feed it straight through your cut. Like I said, guys, there are so many ways Love it. Yeah. Like I said, and this is just a cute, simple way to make those curly cubes. Now, they sell the curly cubes. Let me get that. I kind of fit it outside of that. They sell the curly cubes out of this tubing that's really stiff and really hard that all you have to do is attach. If you have five extra dollars to put into your wreath to buy these, Go for it. Me, on the other hand, I'm too cheap for all that, guys. Y'all know that. So, I'm going to put this in. See how long my curly stem is? Wrap it around nice and secure. No, Miss Paula, I did not. I got your custom listing up there. 
I just hadn't shipped it out yet. So there's that. Curl it up as short as you want it. Just like so. Pull it out and add your spider. Yep, and like I said, you add your little spider to it just like that by just putting a glob of glue in the middle. Holding it down, preferably not with your finger. Uh, it should be, yes ma'am. Not cheap, economical. There you go. So, there is your spider. Again, I did that. Oh yeah, we have eyeballs. Yes ma'am, Miss LaDonna, we have the eyeballs that we're going to add to. Just make that And see, now your spider is a curling. Miss Down, I did not find the one that was in my closet. Um, I do know that it's in my closet, but I found a new way to make that. That was the other one. Yep, the spider rings. Yep, you could do that. You could tie them on the end. You are correct. So just put that in there. And just keep going with your design. So I threw my Chanel stems down there. Yes, you could. The spiders come from the Dollar Tree. Yep, spiders come from the Dollar Tree. So twist on. Our pumpkin frame come from the Dollar Tree. Our eyeballs and our ornaments that we're going to put up top to make it look like little bubbles come from the Dollar Tree. So again, I'm going to put, just feed that straight through my design. Just like so. Good morning. Yes, ma'am, this is a great idea to do with your pumpkin frames. Yes, you are correct, Miss Pam. There's never enough hours in the day. So, we're going to close that. Just put a little scrunch down there on the end. Attach this up here to one of our Chanel stems that we already have. Tuck it in really nice and secure. Curl it up the way that we want it. And like I said, you can make this as curly or as straight as you want it to. And then you could add your spider to the end. Just by the glob of glue in there. Adding that to that. Just like so. If you had fingers, it would work. So, there's that part. Now, told you we're going to use our ornaments up top. So, purple ornaments. And guys, we still don't have a fire on the bottom yet, so we're going to put our ornaments in up here. What did I do with my eyeballs? Put my eyeballs coming out of my brew. Now I'm just going to pull that little, I love your design, thank you. So I'm going to take the little gold part off, because I don't need it to look like an ornament. Put our eyeball. Put our glue on our eyeball and yep 
Miss Pam, I'd have to find them. <laughs> Good morning. So again, we are just adding in our little ornaments up here at the top to make it look like, thank you. They're ornaments from the Dollar Tree. The eyeballs are just little ornaments from the Dollar Tree. Yep, check the floor. That is a given. So we're just going to insert in. Yep. So the ornaments come in a box in a little container that looks like this. So I can give you, yes, ma'am, Miss Paula, I will take care of it. Okay. So there is the orange in. Yeah, just don't catch the glue again. You are so right. Okay. We have the ones that have the little bats. If you wanted to cook the bats. You could have the bats in your design as well. And literally all you have to do is insert it in. You could make eyes from the ping pong balls. They also have um, the different color eyes that you could do. Well, that one just said it did not want to be on there. No, this is not a completed kit. No, ma'am. That spider fell off and went down there to stay. There's that. So, there's that part, guys. You have your eyeballs coming up out of your brew. Yes, ma'am. So you have all your little eyeballs. You have your spiders hanging down. Now we're going to do our fire on the bottom, guys, okay? So let me set this over here. You're welcome, darling. Sorry I couldn't stay long. Had lots going on, but Miss Joanna and you did an awesome job. So we're going to make that spider stay whether it wants to or not. I'm just trying not to catch my fingers. Okay, so there's that. Now let's make our fire. If you use this method to make a pumpkin, how would you finish the bottom? You could literally um, just put leaves down at the bottom if you wanted to. This is awesome. All right, so let's put that back up there. We have our orange. Yep, I'm going to do the bottom for the, um, as soon as I remember what I do with my orange, mesh. Oh, I have my orange and my red. Okay, so 10 inch cuts again. I have my red and my border stripe. <laughs> Miss Pam, I find different ideas um, everywhere, and then I try to make them as creative and unique as possible. You cannot find the green and purple. Um, I believe there is a high full. It's the green, orange, and purple. I will have to look and see if any of that is still available. All right, so we're gonna do 10 inch cuts of this. And I'm going to do six cuts of each for now. Um, I have the wide full mesh that you see that I'm using. There is one on OITC.shop that has the orange with it. So it's not just the green and black or the green and purple. It has the orange with it. So, and I think Alan took it back out of here so I wouldn't use it. 
But yes, there are some Halloween meshes available over at OITC.shop. That is super adorable. So, I'm going to cut this. And we're just doing six cuts of our two chin inch cuts, okay? I really got to get another rotary cutter in here. I took mine to the meet and greet, and I ain't brought them back in yet. You're so welcome. 10 inch. Now, I'm doing six cuts of this, guys, because I have six Chanel stems at the bottom. Will you show your high fall mesh that you have? Which one's that one? The one that has the orange in it. Oh. Yeah, I'll change it. The blades don't work for me, Miss Rhonda. I can never get it back uh, on tight enough. Um, so, this one I think I have for 55 and then you have your 15% off discount code. This is the one that I have. It's the same thing as that one, except for it's got the orange in it already. Thank you. So we're just going to take our cuts apart. And we're going to do little curls for this. But now I showed you this part first. But I'm going to do six cuts at 10 inches of my orange, okay? Just got on, I can't wait to watch the replay to see how you did that. Oh, thank you, Miss Brenda. It's simple and easy. Just took a little bit of time. So I'm gonna do six cuts of my orange, guys, okay? This is the orange border mesh. I'm gonna do 10 inch cuts, and I'm going to do six of them. I have, um, the Dollar Tree cutters were amazing. And I had a bunch of those for the meet and greet that hadn't come in yet either. <laughs> but yes, the Dollar Tree cutters are amazing as well. Uh, looks like I'm going to be grabbing another roll of this. Yes. So we're going to do six cuts at 10 inches. So there's three. Uh, this one is, let's see. I'll see if I can find it. Cause I think I just have it under which pot. If I'm not mistaken. Mm, let's see. Let's try finished. That's if I even listed it as a draft. Maybe not. <laughs> oh, it's one of those days. Let's see. I gotta grab the orange. Sort. Created nearest. Do, 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 do. Doesn't even look like I listed it. Does it look like I even listed it? So, I will get this finished pot listed once I get off the live. Alright, let's see. I already have it. So, three, four, five, one more. That'll work. Alright, so, I will get it listed right there at the end. Thank you, Miss Jennifer. And Miss Paula, if you're still watching, there is your link. So I did do that. Hello. All right. So we have our six cuts of our 10 inch orange border mesh, okay? So let me move everything out of the way. So that can stay there. So over there. Now, we're going to take our 10 inch cut and we're going to do the seashell method, 
okay? So natural curl, we're gonna fold border to border, just like this, lay it sideways, and we're gonna scrunch up about an inch down. It's gonna look like that, okay? I am going to insert this on the bottom. Oh, thank you, Miss Brenda, for those 200 stars. So there's the first part of our fire. Okay. Now, we're going to do that for all six. Move these out of the way of our bottoms. Okay. So we're just going to fold up. 10 inch cut, fold in half, border to border, scrunch up, we have our little seashell, we're going to add that to our six, well thank you, I like doing something different guys, so we're going to just add this in to our six Chanel stems at the bottom. Okay, same thing, it's just going to look like fire coming up, okay, do our little seashell, add it to our design, and it literally is going to look like fire, yeah, where's the other Chanel stem there, there we go. Coming up out of our pot. Now, another thing that you can use, guys, and again, I went to town three different times when I got home and I decided another look that would be cute for our fire. You could get an orange boa, like one of the little feathery boas, and put down here at the bottom. Would look really cute as our fire. Oh, Thank you for those 500 stars. You are so amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. First time watching. Well, hello, Miss Pat. Thank you. So this is definitely something different, guys. This is not an everyday wreath. But this is what sets you apart from all of your other ladies that will be making wreaths in your area is the fact that you have something totally different. So unless they're thinking outside of the box with you, Thank you for being here, Miss Pat. So, unless they are thinking outside of the box with you, yeah, they're not going to have what you have. Okay? So, there's our four. Okay? So, there's our fire coming up. Do it again. Right here. Loving this. So, definitely something entertaining and fun. Thank y'all so much. And thank you, Miss Pat, for joining us. And thank y'all. Yep, I am going to add red, but not to my fire coming up. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, five. I've got one more of our 10 inches that I need to add in. Just like so. For our six coming up. Okay, so our six fires coming up, let's see, goes right here, okay, just twist that in place, now there is all of our fire coming up, okay, now we're going to take our 10 inch cuts of our orange, roll it up with our red, roll it up, definitely sets you apart. And then you're going to add those to the bottom, okay? Give that a twist on.
just like so. Hide your Chanel stem to the back. See how we got our fire now? Good morning, Miss Fergie. So we're gonna do that for all six of our reds. We're just going to add in a red and our orange. Thank you. Where are you from? I am from Billingsley, Alabama. So a little bit spot right outside of Prattville, Alabama. And we go live Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, right here every day, showing you different projects. Yes, even a little yellow would look good in our fire. You could definitely use the yellow if you wanted to. Just popping in different colors from Pittsburgh. Awesome. Well, we are in Billingsley, Alabama. And like I said, it's just a little bitty small town. Um, right outside of Prattville, which is not far from the um, state capital of Alabama. But, and we go live Monday through Friday just to show y'all how to do different and unique things. Just to make your life in reef making a little bit of fun and different. So that has been my goal this week, is to come up with different ideas and to teach y'all how to use that. You could put a peekaboo witch. You could. That would be adorable. I don't have one in here, but that would be absolutely adorable. We still have our little metal sign to put on. You're welcome. So there's that and that. I told you I had it up there. I just forgot to message you and tell you that it was ready. <laughs> oh, if y'all knew how crazy life was around here, it gets crazier and crazier. Could you do the petal that comes from, yes, you could. Miss Deanna, yes, you definitely could. You could do different things up however you wanted to. Can you send me your link to your page? Yes, ma'am. So you're on the page right now, but we have a website. And we have, well, technically we have two websites because we have one for supplies. Just received my peekaboos. Awesome. And then we have one that is um, our signs that we do, like our little metal sign here. Like that. And... We can just put it in, guys. Which is brief. Like that. But I put skeleton hands coming from one. Awesome. We have just purchased a new home. Best holiday decorating contest where we live. That would definitely. Oh, yes. It would definitely make a new statement. You were right, Miss Pam. All right. So last one rolled up. And then we'll add our little sign. And we will be done, guys. So, roll your little fire up. Love this project. Thank you. Like I said, just something fun and different. And again, guys, if you wanted to do your... Um, there's all of your fire coming out the bottom. Add our little sign, just like that in between the spiders. So in order to add our sign, I'm literally just going to put one little cable mount on the back. The cable mount is a one inch by one inch black cable mount for outdoors. Order a stocking mystery set. Miss Connie, I'm not sure. Send me a message, darling. I'm not sure about a mystery set, stocking mystery set. So, definitely. Yes, you could definitely do the lights, the fairy lights on the top and bottom. That would work really, really cute. 
When is the drawing when all of the tickets sell out, Miss Lydia? Thank you, Miss Pam. Yep. So one of our little cable mounts. Just take one of our Chanel stems, preferably the black ones right there. Feed it through. And find one of your little bars. And insert right there. Yes, Miss, uh, that will ship out today, darling. I have you ready to ship. So, let's see if I can get my Chanel stems without finding too much. There we go. Put our sign on. Definitely a statement piece. You are right. There we go, guys. And again, if you wanted to take your um, orange, what did I do with my Halloween tubing? Y'all know I can't keep up with anything. Oh, I bought something else for this, too. But, you could take your little tubing and do this all throughout your design. I used a cable mount on my wood frame and it fell off. The sticky part come apart from the place. Yes. Uh, rapid fuse. Yep. You can definitely do that. Yeah. It will definitely hold a lot better that way. Um, a lot of the wood signs, um, we have the cable mounts that don't have the sticky, but to me, using the doubt rapid fuse and the sticky just works a lot better, but I understand, Miss Chef. All right. So there's that. You could take your different colors of your thing. And you can put your curlies coming out of your fire. Um, I have this as 55. Yep. So if somebody would like to purchase it, it is, or it should have been available on the website. I'll have to make sure that I got it relisted. But I wanted to show you something else that I bought for this. Okay. This is at the Dollar Tree, guys. This is, and normally I don't use ribbons like this. I have all of my ribbons that are um, wired. But I seen this, and it was super, super cute. So that is little bitty pumpkins cut out. Okay? So you could literally just put little curlies of this on here they had spider webs let me see the little spider webs that you could literally this was my idea okay so see how that already curls they had one of those up there at uh, miss yes so uh they are, there are burner boards available over on OITC.shop with the bow makers. And he's got a lot of those going. But see how that is, guys? So maybe it didn't need to be that long. But you could put the little spider webs just a dangling like that. Was your full mesh 10 inches wide? Yes, ma'am. So, just to give it a little bit more. See how that curls? And this is stiff enough that you wouldn't even have to add anything to make it stay the way that you want it to. Just tuck it in. And it just gives it a little bit of dimension. They have the skulls on it. And they even had the little spiders. So I liked the idea of just the fact that it was just something different. Yeah. So let me add one of the skulls and the spiders. Like I said, I just thought it was super cute as a little extra ump. Y'all know I love my extras on everything. Hello. 
but look at the little spiders. So if you literally just cut, I'm a crafter and will be starting my own page. Awesome. Well, let us know when you do, darling, and we will share you out onto our little world here and get you some views. So, so we're just going to tuck that in. So I'll come closer and show y'all this. Let me get one on over here. So let's just snip that just for color, but I want to come closer to show y'all what that looks like. So give me one second. Let me get a little bit closer just to show y'all this. Like I said, adding that in just gives it like a little, just a little different dimensions. Can y'all see all of that? What type of rail? This is the pumpkin frame. But see how those little pumpkins? And like literally, it just adds in the ump. Something else that I was going to show y'all to add in, guys. This is the little sprays from the Dollar Tree. That you could literally... So let's say we didn't do these. You could put these little sprays coming up out of your design. They have them in the orange if you wanted to do it down there at the fire. They even have it in, well, see if I bought the black, the blacks. So you could add a lot of dimension. Hello. You could literally add. I'll have this sign ready for the page as soon as I get off the live. But yeah. So I mean you could add different things if you wanted to add the dimensions to your wreath. I'm going to hang this up back there in the back so we can zoom in on it. But this is literally just the pumpkin frame, guys. So, and you don't even have to add a, add a hanger because the stem of your pumpkin works great for that hanger. Let's see if I can get us over there. Yes, that is tubing. We used a Chanel stem and tubing. So there you go. What do y'all think? It looks like it's bouncing, and I don't know why. But there you go. Simple and as easy as that. Thank you, darling. So just something different, something fun, exciting, and a showstopper. All right, guys. Well, that is our live today. How would you do the Chanel stems to make a pumpkin? Same way. You would do it the same way? Yes, ma'am. You could do it the pumpkin the same way. Just up top, you would want to have a bow and some ribbons hanging down or something like that just to cover up where you put your Chanel stems. Thank you. All right, guys. You got me in the Halloween spirit. So tomorrow we will make a witch's hat out of our Halloween, and then Wednesday we'll do a spider. Okay? But, all right, guys. I do appreciate y'all hanging with me and spending your morning with me. And we will see you tomorrow morning. 55, Miss Jennifer, is what I have charged. And then 15% off would be my price. Yes. So, replay will be available just as soon as I get off. So, y'all can go back and watch just the replay. If you're interested in that. All right. Thank you so much. All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Bye, guys.